See the USA in your Chevrolet. America is asking you to call. Drive your Chevrolet through the USA. America's the greatest land of all. On a highway or a road along a levee. Performance is sweeter. Nothing can beat her. Life is completer in a Chevy. It's all sandblast, and I liked it so much I bought uh, silver high heat paint, or what they call aluminum paint. But it's over here, <coughs> and we're doing it. It's almost hard to tell where I painted. It's the same color, except for it's got a little sheen to it. The sandblasting, you can tell, like down in there, I can tell it was dull. This is the bottom side. I only did one little coat. Here's a funny part, too. Look what's on the cover. Lake pipes. Lake exhaust. It is hot. Isn't it pretty? That is uh, sweat <laughs> dripping off my head. That too. Whew, it is beautiful out. And it is absolutely hot in the garage. My other one is uh, right there. Not done yet. Uh, it's Friday. Went to the junkyard this morning and I spotted an exhaust system laying on the ground. And uh, I think these are Pontiac uh, Grand Am. But they're cast aluminum and they uh, cast it over the tube. So I'm going to have to cut that tube back. What I'm thinking is over here, after the lake pipes go through the cherry bombs. But this comes out under here somewhere. Preferably before the front wheel. I mean the rear wheel. And maybe a little setback, but maybe not even pointing straight out. We'll see. But I'm working on getting this one painted right now. I'm going to sandblast these in a while. I always like that look. I'm going to bring these over Don's and sandblast them. I tried cleaning them up. Yeah, that ain't happening. These are, in fact, steel on there. It's got an aluminized coating. But uh, I used my pipe cutter. Cut the ends off nice and clean. I got the cherry bomb sitting down there, but you can kind of see where I got to go. Right here, underneath, and then around and into it. Then I think it ends about right here, where it's just going to turn and stick out about there, which would be before the rear tire. Yeah. Them, I think they're Pontiac. They sandblasted them at Don's house. They came out really nice. They're aluminum up to about there. They must cast this thing around the pipe or I'm ready.
I thought so. <laughs> we put the charger. This car's brought it down. One day I need it, right? We got Don, Rick, and uh, one of Rick's friends, all these Chevy guys coming over here. They're looking at the 33 truck truck in Don's yard right now. Ready? <laughs> Put the timer light on. Here, put that, that. You put that in the, your clear line to your distributor because you don't want tobacco vents running. Uh, okay. Sorry, Rick. This is still this is have a golf ball. Ball. Uh, I've got to cap this off. Oh. No, no, that's, that's what the screw's for. That's the magic shed screw. Stay. Yeah, I think it was stretch right out. It was 
was just like a sizer. Feel better. Why don't you hit the key for a minute? We'll give the YouTube fans something to hear. Probably ain't gonna hear it on this camera. Then knock it out. Where the key? Oh, yeah. You might need the key. <laughs> teeth up or teeth Remember when? Keep down. When you shut it off, it's got to be dead center, or it won't shut off. That's like a lawnmower switch. I hate that thing. Ooh. I'll give it a little juice. That little dead spot. Mm -hmm. We got to get the right alternator belt. That's all. Ah, uh, really, really good day. We had the timing set. We got this header's done. All done. That's high heat paint. And uh, I didn't think it was going to stick. It stuck incredible. I give uh, credit to these guys. Let's see. Rust-Oleum High Heat, 2,000 degrees Fahrenheit. And look what's on the cover. I love that fact. <laughs> and, uh, I mean, it started to smoke, but, man, this stuff is baked on now. Look what the other side did with no paint. Blue. Nice and evenly, too. This one has to be finished, but we wanted to hear it today, so we popped it on, um, running it with open headers. That sucker jumped right up to about 45 PSI. Don was watching it. This didn't move because uh, I really wasn't watching it, and I didn't give it long enough time to run. I was freaking out. Um, the belt, I took another notch out of this. This is my test belt. It's spinning again. I now have the size I need. I think it was, uh, I forget what it was. But, um... One flick of the key and boom, she runs. We set the uh, timing, um, what do you call it, the, uh, the advanced to, I think it was 9 degrees, 8 degrees. I bought the correct spring with a spring inside a spring. And the one that came with it was a little too tight. Where is it? Yeah, the one that came with it was a little too tight, so I didn't use it. I went with the one I had. Here it is. This one's really hard. So I went with the softer one I had inside of the big one. Um, I don't know, she runs. Pretty cool. I'm shaking. No, I'm not. Woo woo! What else can we do? Uh, Rick came over with his friend. Uh, it's funny having all those Chevy guys here. Rick's building a hot rod. We'll have to get pictures of that puppy, too. Okay, guys. Have a good night.